Hi everybody. I got my uh, Lithgow Enfield out again today because um, I headed out and last time I headed out I was doing some load testing and I had time constraints and I didn't really get to finish it and so I thought I would finish them today not get into a lot of details about this firearm I will say it's in really good condition and I found a load that really works for it and that's a uh, 150 grain Hornady SP and it's a 312 diameter bullet uh, the groove diameter on this gun is 313 thousandths, and I tried resizing like I do with some of my other rifles, and it just didn't like the resized bullets at 313. Um, but I did find, one minute, one minute. I did find that it liked the uh, uh, 312s, Hornady bullets. And I used uh, IMR 3031 at 36.5 grain because I was shooting them in my carbine as well, the number five. And uh, it worked really well in the number five, and it works just as well in my number one. And the overall length for this rifle is 3 inches 65 thousandths, and my note says it's a very good load. So... I'm going to assume that what I have left are the 312s and not the resized um, 8mm bullets to 313. So we'll shoot after the break. I did a <coughs> excuse me video previous to this, and my microphone died. So throughout the whole video, which is a good one too. There's absolutely no sound. And I got two microphones. I didn't realize the mic had died until it was too late. So, all right. This is once fired brass. It's having a lot of case failures. In my number five, I had no idea how many times it's been reloaded. And I want to try and keep track of how many times they've been reloaded from now on. Plus, I'm only neck sizing. I bought a neck sizing die. So these bullets, these cases will be specific to the rifle they were fired out of. Drag on the on the bolt.
these are these just barely fit in the magazine my overall length on these was determined by whether or not they would fit in the magazine because I could have taken them out further but your magazine will limit you to that unless you want to shoot single shot just shoot them one at a time So this is the first first firing for these. So what they're doing right now is when they fire, that case is expanding and fitting or filling the chamber, matching the chamber. I don't know what the best word is. But this case is expanding. And you don't want to full length size them now. Um, it'll help seal the chamber on the next firing if all I'm doing is just sizing the neck. Plus, it reduces fatigue on the cases and you can get more, more use out of them. More reloads. It's full length sizing, it's crushing that case down, and then you fire it and it's expanding again, and then you load it again full length resize, it's crushing it down again, and that constant back and forth, even with the kneeling, it's just going to fatigue that brass. And you're going to get case failures, which you've probably seen in my previous videos. And you have to play go fish and pick the broken case out of the chamber. And then you gotta buy a case extractor or you gotta go to the gunsmith. In my case I bought an extractor and removal tool and it works pretty well. At least I didn't have to go to the gunsmith to get it out. That's not cheap. <clears throat> All right, I'll chase that one down later. Doesn't want to. The bolt drags a little bit. <clears throat> Got a little bit of a backache. <clears throat> oh my gosh, I'm getting old. Oh. <clears throat> well, I got four left. This lift gal which is where this rifle was made. Australian firearm. Has brass butt plate on it. 
I think the brass butt plates are cool. It's a good load. This cases look good, primers look good. all of them. That's some timing up there, right? Right for the ceasefire and take it down there and show it to you. This mic is working, isn't it? Yep. 